Welcome to Penacool.com's Language Lab. My name is Captain S123. Today we're going to explore an important grammar concept called subject verb agreement. It's all about making sure our subjects and verbs match and work together. Are you ready? Let's dive in and learn more. Subject verb agreement means that the verb in a sentence must match the subject. When we talk about a single subject, we use a singular verb. And when we talk about more than one subject, we use a plural verb. For example, when we say the girl runs, we use a singular verb runs because the subject girl is singular. If the subject is singular, the verb must also be singular. In this case, the subject has no S at the end, but the verb almost always has an S at the end. But when we talk about more than one girl, we say the girls run. We use the plural verb run to match the plural subject girls. If the subject is plural, the verb must also be plural. In this case, the subject usually has an S at the end, while the verb does not have an S at the end. See how the verb changes to match the subject? That's subject verb agreement in action. Now, let's see some more examples of subject verb agreement in sentences. The door barks loudly. In this sentence, the singular subject door is matched with the singular verb barks. The door doesn't bark loudly. And in this sentence, the plural subject dogs is matched with the plural verb bark. The girl sings beautifully. In this sentence, the singular subject girl matches the singular verb sings. Notice the S at the end. The girls sing beautifully. In this sentence, the plural subject girls matches the plural verb sing. Notice there is no S at the end. Well done, my brilliant language learners. You've learned about subject verb agreement and how the verb in a sentence must match the subject. Keep practicing and paying attention to your subjects and verbs. Soon, subject verb agreement will come naturally to you. Thank you for visiting the Language Lab today. Try the exercises on penacool.com to earn points and win great prizes.